What are your standards? Dear Alexander, 31. While a part of the duty of your vocation is to help uplift and elevate people, it's not always worth the investment of emotion, time, and energy. If a person is consistently not receptive to the positive change you're trying to inspire and teach, then that time is almost always better spent on others who are ready, willing, and receptive to what you have to offer. Do you want to work with mediocre people who say they want to get better, yet don't show up with their actions? Do you want to work with people who aren't willing to invest and create change in themselves? As much as a client may be paying you, you're giving them hours of your time, energy, and emotion. It's your life force. Your time is your life, and you will never get that back. So choose very carefully who you want to invest your life into. You can't help people who don't want to help themselves. So it comes down to what are you willing to accept? What are your standards for those people? Are you willing to accept you may be able to change this person in six months or a year's time? If you're not willing to risk the gamble of all that life that gets invested into another, then you don't necessarily need or should work with that person. Do you really want to give six months of your time to someone on a gamble that they might get better? On the other hand, if someone walks in, tells you what they want, shows you with their actions, more importantly, that they're willing to get better, then you can allow yourself to invest time and life into them. You're not going to be able to influence and change everyone. And that's okay. You don't want to, you don't need to. Only those whose values and standards are compatible with yours is where you should spend most of your time. No amount of money is worth compromising on this ideal and value because this is your life you're talking about. Quote, you can't force someone to see their gold mine of potential if they can't see it within themselves first. End quote. I don't know. I don't know if that last quote I still believe. I th believe I remember the friend who said that. And sometimes people can see potential in you that you can't see in yourself. And so I don't know if that's always applicable, but I think it's along the lines of that, you know, you, if you're going to work with somebody in a service capacity, you got to be able to, or they have to, they, they should ideally at least be able to understand their potential, understand that their aim. What are they aiming for? Who were they aiming to be? And then you eventually unlock all types of different things that they didn't realize about themselves and you, and, and you do it yourself onto yourself as well through your own process. But I don't know if it's as black as black and white as, as that quote I ended with, but that reflects the energy and emotion of the time.